So we're here today chatting with Mark Benton, who will be playing Andre in the National Tour of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels this summer. Mark, thank you ever so much for your time today. Thanks for having me. Um, so you've had um, a very successful career, um, both on screen and on stage. Thank you. Um, and to, over quite broadly, when it comes to theatre and this show in particular, uh, what is it that draws you to a project? And specifically with this, what was it that made you say, I want to be a part of that? Uh, the script initially. Um, I, I, I sort of had a chat with Jerry Mitchell, the director, wonderful director, uh, when it was going to go on to the West End. And, um, it was just a chat because I, I was doing the Strictly tour, so I wasn't actually available to do it. So when this came up again, you know, I knew how good the script was and the songs, I listened through the songs and the songs were great. And it was a no-brainer really, it was, you know, I just thought I'd really love to do it because it's... I think the thing with some musicals is the songs are great and the script's not so good. Yeah. Or the script's great and the songs are okay, but with this one, you know, the script is, is up there with the songs, so it's, it's a, it was a no-brainer, it was really, I, I thought about it for a very short time. Right. And as you said, it, 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 it harkens back to a slightly more classical style of musical, doesn't it? As you said, there is much more of a balance between the musical numbers and, and the book itself, there's, there's more reason. Yeah, no, absolutely, and I think that's what's, you know, that's what's important, I think that sometimes that's what's missing for musicals, and obviously... When they're not a great musical, a lot of the time it's because the book's not very good, because the songs have been great. But with this, you know, they, they just, I don't know, they just got it right, and, and you know, and because and, and, it's such a good subject matter in the first place, but the film is so good, you know, it's just funny, it just made me laugh. You know, and I, I think that's that's what you want when you go to play the same musical, you want to laugh and you want to enjoy the songs and, you know, be entertained. Okay, um, so as you said, the, um, the show is based on the 1988 film, which wasn't a musical, and of course the recent West End run, which was. For those who are uninitiated, um, could you just give us a brief overview of what the show itself is about, and in particular your character, Andre? It's about con men, and um, you've got to put the con men who have a bet with each other, they're going to get some money out of this, this rich woman. Um, and my character is the chief of police. And Lawrence, who's kind of a suave, sophisticated guy, uh, uh, Andre, my character, is his sidekick. And uh, he gets left with one of the women that Andre, uh, that uh, Lawrence is trying to con. And they fall in love. And there's a, there's a lovely love story in the second half of the play. And um, they kind of get together in the end, which is lovely. So it's, I love Andre. He's got a lot. He's got a bit of everything. He's got a, bit, he's got a lot of comedy. He's got some songs. He's got some pathos. So it's really, really good, really nice. And uh, is it more fun to play a scoundrel? The more and it, it's, it's a light-hearted show, but is it yeah. more interesting to tackle those slightly more morally dubious characters? Well, I generally, if my characters aren't morally dubious, I generally make them morally dubious <laughs> anyway. So, um, yeah, it's obviously it's great fun, you know. And, and we we put a lot of stuff in because obviously you come to a musical, and, and sometimes when it's you know it's the West End show, you I never saw the West End show, and. Um, I'm glad I didn't because you want to make it your own. So there's a lot of stuff in this one that you won't have seen before. Uh, you certainly wouldn't have seen on the West End because we put some stuff in that, uh, that, that yeah, that it, it, it sort of made us laugh. So we thought, well, let's try it and see what happens. So we look forward to getting an audience to see if those things will work. Obviously, you've toured with productions in the past with shows like Hairspray and yeah. um, Are you much of a fan of the touring process? No. No. <laughs> I said, you know, start this year, I said, I'm not going to do any theatre uh, and I'm not going to do any touring. So I'm now doing a tour of the theatre theater job, so <laughs> that didn't work. Um, so you've conned yourself? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, do you know what? It's, it, it, I mean, you know, I'm not on it for the whole tour, so it's, it's, it's like a nice little holiday for me. So I'm really looking forward to it, and, and, and actually I'm really looking because the cities we play are, are all, you know, I have a great fondness for, you know, Birmingham, Manchester, Sunderland, Glasgow, a lot of places I've done a lot of work, you know, so I'm really lucky that the places I'm doing, I'm really looking forward to going, I've got a lot of friends there. Right, and finally, um, for anyone who's coming to see the show, or perhaps contemplating buying a ticket, what can audiences expect from Dirty Rotten Scandals when it opens here in Birmingham next week? 
what you can expect it a great night out and it's fun it's you know there's lots of farce in it and, um, and there's some great twists and turns as well and you know and on top of that you've got some laughs and you've got brilliant songs you know with some great singers like Noel and Carly and, and Michael great singers um, so I think you know if you don't come on to the smile there's something wrong with you Brilliant. Well, thank you ever so much again for your time, Mark. Absolute pleasure. We'll be reviewing Dirty Rock Scoundrels when it opens at the New Alexander Theatre at the beginning of Thanks again. <laughs> <laughs> thank nice you ever so much. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Yeah.